Hi guys, Chris McNeil here. I want to shoot this short video just to introduce you to version 1.7 of the Scraper, which is launching today, February 22nd, 2015. If you've got an earlier version, I strongly suggest that you upgrade uh, and take advantage of a whole bunch of new features that uh, we've launched in this version here. Okay, what is the Scraper? For those of you who are new, it is a tool which protects your eBay sales. Um, very often one of the biggest problems that you find is that you spend a lot of time researching the right uh, products to sell on eBay. You get them up there, you, you hang on, you wait for some sales to come through. A sale does come through, you get the cha-ching on your phone, and wouldn't you know it, the Amazon product has gone out of stock, or it's doubled in price, or the shipping deadline is now three months down the road, or something like that. What are you going to do? You have to go back to your customer and either cancel the order, which is just a nightmare and a waste of time, or you have to negotiate with the customer just to hold on a little bit longer until your, your, price, uh, your product comes back in the right price range. Or you just fulfill the order and take a loss. It's not great for the time you invest, it's not great for your profits, uh, and potentially it's quite damaging for your eBay seller reputation. So how do people get over this? Well, uh, a lot of people just uh, close their eyes and just hope for the best. Uh, pray that uh, these price changes don't happen to them, but of course they do. Uh, if you've got a couple of dozen listings, then that's really easy. You can just do a manual scan and visually look at those items every night uh, you know, in front of the TV. Uh, but if you've got a few hundred, then it's going to take hours of time, time that you could be doing selling or doing customer support or listing new items, or maybe you've got a day job to work at, or maybe you just want to hang out with your family. Well. Some people hire virtual assistants, but you know, with three, four hundred items, you're talking about five or six hundred dollars a month for a virtual assistant just to scan down and adjust eBay prices. That takes a huge, huge, huge amount of time. This tool, the scraper, does that in seconds. Literally seconds. It very quickly tells you which items are out of stock, which have gone up or down in price which ones have ridiculous shipping times associated with them, and which ones are no longer fulfilled by Amazon, but maybe some other merchant that you don't really want to deal with. Now, let's, uh, let's have a look at how it works. It's, na it's an Excel spreadsheet. You open up uh, my most, version, most versions of Microsoft Excel uh, for MS Windows, and you load up the spreadsheet. You might get a security message flash up the top. That's okay. Just press uh, Enable. Um, and, and that'll be fine. And you choose uh, a product that you want to sell on eBay. Now you've gone ahead, you've cropped your images, uh, you've done all the preparation, so what we're just going to do is add to the, on the next available row the URL that I just took from Amazon and then maybe some sort of title. I'll just type one in here. Now, if I were doing this for real, it would probably be a much better title. But anyway, that's just a sample right there. You need to put in your eBay titles. If you've only got a dozen or so items, then, well, maybe that's not so bad to track uh, and, and, uh, and review which, uh, what the Amazon link is of the item that actually sells. But if you've got hundreds, you really need to put in your eBay title so that you can cross-reference. This will not integrate with eBay. Okay, it's a manual copy and paste from your eBay account to here so that you can put your titles there for cross-referencing purposes in the future once the item actually does sell. Now, once you've got all your items in, let's just scroll up to the top, watch this in action, press Scrape Amazon. Look at this go. This is just flying. So within a couple of minutes, it scans the nine URLs that we've got. Okay, That is fast. And imagine if you had 100, it might take a minute or two minutes. A lot of it depends on the speed of your internet uh, connection, the speed of your computer. Um, I'm on kind of a, a relatively recent PC and uh, a normal uh, broadband uh, internet connection. And that's how fast it went. It gives us a, a summary. It tracked nine, um, two, 
were unsuccessful. Of course they were unsuccessful because we've set them to not track. We didn't want them to, to track. Maybe that might be a product that I've, uh, I've decided not to sell anymore, but I just want to keep on my list for, um, for, uh, for future reference. And then it gives me an idea of which ones have free shipping or not free shipping, out of stock, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, uh, this works on both the US and the UK. Okay, so let me just explain what we've got here. These fields, these boxes, are for your .com sales. These boxes here are for your .co.uk sales, all right? So your PayPal fees, um, we're taught, are going to be around 15%. Your taxes, um, again, the, uh, the training teaches us that that's going to be an average of 3%. Currency fees, let me get to that in a moment. And your profit margin is whatever you want your profit margin to be. If you're in pro, let's call it 5%. Okay, You can adjust these. You can adjust any box that you like. So your tax in the U.S., every state charges tax, either between 0% or whatever it is, 12%. So maybe we can figure out something else. And you click on Apply Percentages. If you're selling in the U.K., all prices include VAT. So uh, you don't need to put taxes there. So that will generally be zero for you if you're selling in the U.K. Currency fees. If you're out of market, if I'm in the UK selling in the US, when my customer pays me on eBay through PayPal, I'm going to get paid in dollars. I need to convert that to sterling so that I can put it on my credit card, which I'll then use to go and buy a product on Amazon.com in dollars. So it's like I'm going on holiday. If I go to France and uh, pay for a hotel or pay for a meal someplace, my credit card will charge me some foreign exchange and potentially a foreign processing fee for doing that transaction in a currency that is not my own. Okay. Um, I generally find that it's about 5 to 7%. It'll vary depending on the relationship that you've got with your bank and your credit card. Um, but you can enter something there, call it 6%, click on Apply Percentages, you rescrape, and it will tell you how much you need to factor in to cover your eBay fees, your taxes, your currency fees, and of course your profit margin. So going across, uh, what we have is an ID number. We've got whether or not we want to track this. So let's say I don't want to track this item anymore. I just simply change that box. We've got a comment field that gives us a, a brief comment on what is the status with each of these items. Um, the scraper will pull the product title. It'll pull the product price from Amazon. It'll tell us whether we have free shipping and whether it's in stock. It'll also tell us whether it's shipped from and sold by Amazon or not. So in all these cases, they happen to be sold by Amazon. But if there was another pro uh, merchant there, it would be listed in this column. These are your eBay titles, which I mentioned earlier. You copy and paste from eBay so that you can cross-reference in the future. Let's say you sold this toaster. Well, how do I go about uh, finding that particular item on potentially a spreadsheet that has maybe several hundred uh, products? You need to have it there so you can cross-reference. This is your, going to be your target eBay price. You don't have to take this price. You can put in whatever price you want, but this is the calculated value based on the numbers that you gave it. So if you said that when you make a sale, your PayPal and eBay fees are going to be 15%, that you want to give yourself a buffer of 5% for taxes, you're trading out of market, so you, uh, so you want to have a 6% uh, buffer there as well for your currency fees, and you want 5% profit, then the scraper is going to tell you that you should sell this for at least $69.45. Okay. It's going to go on tell you what your gross profit is. So that's your actual eBay sales price minus the Amazon cost. It'll tell you your net profit, taking into account all the other fees and taxes and so on and so forth. It'll tell you your current Amazon price, your previous price. In this case, there's been no change and it'll, change, it'll tell you what percentage change, again, if there's been any change. Okay, I just want to make this currency thing clear. If you're in the US and selling on eBay.com, 
you put this to zero. If you're in the UK and selling on eBay.co.uk, you put this at zero. If you're in any other market, if you're Canada selling in the States, if you're in France selling in the UK, if you're in India selling in the States, you need to put in some sort of currency fee to protect yourself against your bank charging you some overhead for processing a foreign currency transaction. Now, when you get to elite, there are ways around that. But if you're in pro, I strongly suggest that you put in some sort of currency fee protection there. Okay, let me flip over to uh, .co.uk. Here, um, here are some items that I, I scanned earlier today, and I just kept them for you. So in the UK, we have free delivery rather than free shipping. We've got free delivery on orders over 10 pounds. This tool will track that as well. Okay. It will also track who the vendor is. Here's a vendor that I don't recognize that's not sold through Amazon, so I might just want to be careful about that. And here are my items. There's quite a swing, isn't it? I'm doing that for illustrative purposes, but it's saying that this item yesterday was 115 pounds and today is 294. So we, excuse me, two pounds 94. So we give you three ways of capturing the differences. We highlight in color, so that it's very, very obvious the rows that you need to look at. We give you the price change as an absolute number. In this case, the price dropped by 112 pounds and 56 pence. And we also tell you what the percentage change is. In this case, it's down by 97.5%. We want to make it very, very clear which products are problem products. We do not integrate with eBay. So this means that if I'm looking at this item here and I don't want to sell it anymore because I don't know who this, uh, who this seller is, I will have to manually log into my eBay account, find that particular item, and end the listing. And this one here, it's sold by Amazon, that's terrific. If I want to adjust the price, I have to log into my eBay account, find that item, adjust the price, and save it. So that's everything, guys. Um, I hope you found this, uh, this useful. Um, really would, uh, would like it if you provided us some feedback. Let us know how you like it. And uh, happy scraping. <laughs>